welcome art lovers to the art vlog and a very happy new year don't forget to subscribe for constant updates and reviews of the uk art scene maybe you're looking for something free to come to after a rather expensive christmas and especially made worse by the cost of living crisis and if so you might want to come here to the national gallery to explore a free exhibition which is on until march the 10th on the Italian Renaissance artist Pesolino. He died when he was 35. He was Florentine and was commissioned by the Demi Dicis and amongst others. But I have to confess, he's an artist I know very little about. This is the first show dedicated directly to him in the UK. It's on at the National Gallery. I'm expecting it to be intimate and I'm really intrigued. What a great way to start the year. So come and join me as we head inside the National Gallery to explore this show um, focusing on the work of Pesolino, uh, the Florentine, who was sadly cut off in his prime. The centrepiece of the One Room exhibition and the reason it's now on is to celebrate this work, the recent conservation of the stories of David, a two panel work acquired by the National Gallery in the year 2000 and now restored to its absolute shimmering glory. The artist Pesolino was born in Florence in about 1422 into a family of painters. We don't know much about his life, but he probably trained with them and then some of the leading painters of the city and having collaborated with other artists as he learned his trade by his late twenties he was getting commissions from the church and from florence's ruling elite pasolino wanted to become an expert in painting altarpieces and was in the process of this work um the the, the pistoia fat trinity altarpiece when he died of plague in 1457 leaving his altarpiece to be completed by the master fra filippo lippi the Stories of David, this central piece, is a two-panel narrative painting which retells one of the most famous of all Old Testament stories. The long horizontal form and visible evidence of locks suggests that these two panels were once fronts of a kasani, a large chest often made for the marital chamber to store bed linen. The exhibition suggests that an array of symbols in the Stories of David, particularly recurring falcons, suggests that the chest was made for the Medici family's new palace, that incredibly wealthy ruling family of Florence in the High Renaissance. For me, the genius of the piece is the way that Pesolino manages the composition to show an unfolding story of many events across a consistent landscape. You'll see, you see David um, washing stones, for example, ready to use in his sling. Then a bit later on, David um, slaying Goliath. Um, there's no confusion, even though there's many overlaying events. And as always with, with some of the best narrative paintings from the Renaissance, there are wonderful details, as you can see here. And it's one that makes you look for a very long time at this piece. This altarpiece was um, Pesolino's uh, last work. He died of the plague while painting it. And as we go up the painting, you're reminded that he designed the painting and he painted most of this main panel, which you can see up here. But it was left to his um, one time collaborator, Fra Filippo Lippi, who was actually older than him, to add the predella or the base, which you can see here. The painting was actually broken up and only brought back together and reconstructed by the National Gallery. You might see the black light little bit at the bottom right. That's a modern reconstruction from a lost piece of the work. After the large scale of stories of David and the altarpiece, we're reminded that Pesolino had another facet to his armory, and that was the um, very highly skilled work as a miniaturist. This tiny little um, diptych um, is, is exquisite, and especially have a look at the background and the detail of this tiny work. This was an artist who was clearly highly skilled in this form. This virgin and child from Lyon was apparently produced by Pasolino for mass um, reproduction. It's a prototype, but the exhibition explains the kind of clean lines are very much made with reproduction in La Mind. This work reminds us that Pasolino was also uh, a master drawer, and it's a little study for a virgin and child in throne with six saints that is currently in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. In A Miracle of St. Sylvester, we see another narrative painting which tells a story of um, Emperor Constantine's mother, Helena, um, being converted to Christianity. And um, it's another example of um, Pesolino's 
ability to 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 just spin a narrative through his works with mastery of composition. I went to the show just after Christmas, and King Melchior's sailing to the Holy Land is um, was had a very lovely Christmassy feel, and encapsulated what I liked about Pesolino in terms of those look at those bright bold colours and the kind of exotic, almost like fantastical um, theming, along with some natural um, naturalism as well. And um, that's what I remember, I think, from the show. And I would say that we'll never know how great an artist Pasolino would go on to become. For me, he wasn't up there with the great greats, but I did thoroughly enjoy getting to know an artist um, uh, who I knew very little about. And this magnificent double panel stories of David um, made it really worthwhile coming. The show is on until the 10th of March in room 46 of the National Gallery and is absolutely free.